And tonight, an investigation underway into the events that led to a shooting involving a CHP officer today. The man shot by the officer is dead, and that officer says he opened fire after he became trapped in the man's car door during a stop and was dragged. The CHP says that the shooting happened in Linda, that's on Dunning Avenue, near Hamilton Smartsville Road. And the mother of the man killed, Ronald Trapp, gave us this photo she says is her son. Now, the CHP officer has been released from the hospital. This is an investigation into this deadly shooting is still going on. Case Area 3's Orko Mana is on the ground for us. Joining us live with the latest in what he's learned, Orko. Well, we are getting a closer look at the scene here. It was blocked off by crime scene tape for most of the day, but the car that the man who was shot was driving crashed into the fence in front of this home here. You can see that it's broken and some trees are on the ground. We were told everyone here is OK, but we also spoke to a woman who says that she is the mother of the man who was shot and killed, and she is devastated. You can't describe this pain. Carrie Trapp says her son is the man who was shot and killed by a CHP officer in Linda Tuesday morning. She's identifying him to KCRA 3 as 34 year old Ronald Trapp, this grieving mother now in absolute anguish. Mad, mad and sad that I couldn't help him. He didn't deserve this, I know that. He was just lost. The shooting happened near Dunning Avenue and Hamilton Smartsville Road. CHP tells KCRA 3 that a CHP officer made contact with the driver. During their interaction, the officer got caught in the man's car door and was dragged. That's when the officer opened fire, shooting the man. He then crashed into a fence and died at the scene. Carrie says her son was troubled and had a rough life, but adds he did not deserve to die. You know, a lot of bad things happened to him lately in the last few years, but before that, I, he was, uh, he tried to act tough, but he really had a, a soft heart. CHP says the officer involved in the shooting has been released from the hospital. The deadly shooting unfolding right by Linda Elementary School. Parents picking up their kids with the crime scene tape just feet away. Come on, we gotta go. This father of three telling us he feared for the safety of his children. I just got here and then I saw a whole bunch of police, you know, so it kind of almost gave me a heart attack, you know, because it's just I got three kids here and I felt like, oh, man, you know, with all the school uh, shootings going on in the nation, it just kind of almost gave me a heart attack. The Marysville Joint Unified School District telling KCRA 3 the school was put on lockdown just after 9.30 a.m. and parents were immediately notified. As the investigation continues, Carrie says she wishes she could have done more to help her son. But I've tried to help him do everything to help him get help and nobody can help him. CHP is saying that the CHP officer approached that vehicle in the first place because it matched the description of a stolen vehicle. Of course, there are still a lot of unanswered questions here and investigators are still looking into it. So stay with us for updates. Reporting live in Linda tonight, Orcomana, KCRA 3 News.